Recent news that SARS-CoV-2 antibodies were found in wild white-tailed deer has made national headlines and raised many concerns and questions among deer hunters. The National Deer Association would like to provide an update on the facts along with the common sense recommendations for hunters so that we can all enjoy this upcoming season. On July 29th, USDA Wildlife Services reported detecting SARS-CoV-2 antibodies in samples of wild white-tailed deer from locations in 32 counties spread across four states. Illinois, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and New York. These deer were collected during some of Wildlife Service's routine management activities, not for the purposes of disease monitoring. SARS-CoV-2 is the name of the virus. COVID-19 is the disease caused by this virus. So finding antibodies to SARS-CoV-2 is not the same thing as finding active COVID-19 infection. And in fact, according to USDA, none of the deer population surveyed showed signs of clinical illness, associated with SARS-CoV-2. The antibodies in this deer are evidence that they were exposed to the virus. To date, no white-tailed deer have been found that were actively infected with the COVID-19 disease and spreading the virus. And also, there are currently no documented cases of people catching COVID-19 from deer. So, we don't know how these deer became exposed to the virus. Humans are the virus reservoir, so possibilities do include direct contact between deer and humans, indirect contact, such as through contaminated feed or bait, and other routes, but more study is needed. The deer in the USDA samples came from both urban and rural areas and include small and large sample sizes. And the percentage of deer infected varied by location, and in some counties, very low percentages of deer, or none, had antibodies. So given this information, it is absolutely irresponsible to make broad statements about the exposure rate of the entire U.S. deer population, as many news outlets have done. We simply don't know enough to make such statements at this point. Currently, there is no confirmed risk to you of COVID-19 infection from handling deer, field dressing deer, or eating cooked venison. However, it has always been a good idea to protect your health by, at a minimum, wearing disposable latex gloves when you're processing a deer, and then washing your hands thoroughly when you're done. If you have concerns about this or any other disease potentially carried by deer, there are basic precautions recommended by the Centers for Disease Control. More study of the SARS-CoV-2 virus in deer is needed. So if your state wildlife agency asks you to assist by submitting samples from harvested deer, NDA encourage you to participate in such volunteer opportunities if possible. Your help will enable research that ultimately protects our priceless deer resource.